Hey guys, myself I am Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. In today's video, we will be seeing one of the important topic in in GCP environment called Apache Beam. We will see how to install Apache Beam uh, in Google Cloud Platform. Along with that, we will see how to implement an aggregator function called count using Beam code. So without any further delay, let's get started. So the objective for today video, as I said earlier, installing Apache Beam Python SDK in Google Cloud Platform. Along with that, we will be creating a pipeline with P collection and then we will be applying the count count function on that P collection. And there are three different ways to implement count. One is to get all the elements and the other one is to get key value pass. The other one, the final one is to get the unique elements. So to get the count of all elements in P collection, we will be using count dot globally and to get each unique key in the P collection of key and values, we will be using count dot per key. And the third function is counting all unique elements to get the count of unique elements in the P collection. We will be using count dot per element. So enough of the theory part. Let's see how to implement this practically. So some of the uh, resources for this video or, or given here, please take a look at it and uh, we'll now see how to implement this practically. So go to your cloud shell. So this is my cloud shell, Google cloud shell. So I'm in this project data lab. So now I'm opening my uh, cloud shell. So I'm clicking on open editor to view my uh, editor. So if you can see, this is my Google Cloud Shell editor and yeah, it is getting loaded. So go to terminal and uh, go into this project. So while going into this project, going to this project, you should copy this G cloud config set project and project ID. You can copy it from data uh, home page. So this is the project ID. You should not get confused with project name and project ID while going into the cloud shell editor. Always copy the project ID and paste it here and then click enter. So now we are into this project. So we'll check for Python version. So Python version is 2.7.16, but I have already created a Python 3 virtual environment. This is my virtual environment. So now I'm going into this virtual environment CD demo installation so now i am activating my virtual environment source my environment name is env slash bin slash activate so now if you see the python version it will be 3.7.3 so this shows we are into our virtual environment and my virtual environment name is env if you don't know how to create a virtual environment i have already created a video on that and i'll add that link in this video description please take a look at it so now we will see how to install apache beam python sdk to install it go to this documentation so this is the official documentation of data flow um, i am in the installing sdk basically i'll give this link in the description box take it from there and just follow the below steps that's it so apache beam python sdk the main use of it is to create is to create data pipelines for both streaming as well as batch data pipelines so this is one of the most important service provided by gcp and cloud data data flow internally uses apache beam pi sdk so this is there are many other languages which supports python uh, apache beam like uh, java python go dot net everything for but this is very specific to python users copy this and paste it here pip install wheel and then go here like go with pip install wheel pip3 install wheel since we are using the python 3 environment so it is already satisfied so copy this pip3 install apache beam So this is collecting is dependencies we'll wait for it so if you get this error so installing build dependencies if you get this error 
don't worry i have already given a solution to this in the uh, powerpoint basically this present powerpoint also will be given will be added to the github and base github link also will be given to will be given in the description box so you can resolve it in the two way using system install or using virtual environment but i'm using virtual environment so i'll copy this code pip3 install hyphen uv and then copy this code pip3 install hyphen u so let it run and now we will install apache pip install apache beam so it should work now so it has collected all the dependency packages for apache beam yeah so now we can we can we have successfully installed the apache beam so this is one of the main challenge faced in uh, faced while installing apache beam and gcp platform and this is the main motive of uh, creating this video also so now um, there are three code files which i have already implemented the count function i'm trying to open it count per key count unique count all elements so before executing this i'll clear my console and if you see count all elements basically i'm importing the apache beam as beam and i'm creating a pipeline so my pipe p collection name is total underscore elements and i'm creating a, a beam code beam dot using create function i'm creating 10 different elements like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so i'm just wanted to um, count our number of elements in this p collection so beam dot combines count dot globally if i use this it will just uh, print me the total number of values if you wanted to add something like this you can add this the total number of elements so now you should go to console and type python 3 count all elements so if you can see 10 so total on beam dot map in the total count is this this is just a custom message now we will go see and count per key so again i am just creating a key value pair it's in the form of tuple you can assume you can see that it is in the form of tuple and to get the count per key i'm using count dot per key if we wanted to do it global like without adding duplicate elements also with adding duplicate elements we can go with globally if you wanted to add per key so use this count dot per key and i'll show you how to execute it python 3 count per key execute it and you will be able to see spring is totally spring is four times one two three four and summer is three times and fall is two times and winter is one time so all the respective we can see it here and finally count per unique value in the p collection so again python 3 count unique so if you see this is two times and this is two times i'm oh, sorry this is one time and this is three time this is two time this is three time and one time so everything you can see it here so that's it for today's video i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have any questions please drop the question in the comment box i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible so that's it for today's video please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon so i'll see you with the next video i'll see you with the different content in the next video until then it's bye from weakness Thank you.